Whether she's wanted to be or not, this lady has become the face of brain cancer and the devastating impact it can have on the patient and their loved ones upon diagnosis. Now today on Tomorrow Life, we're not talking about her right to die, but rather the hope in fighting the disease in the future, and that fight includes certain amounts of a lethal venom in an insect that most of us would try to avoid. Plus, what if we told you you could test for breast cancer genes with just a quick swab of your cheek? Coming up, we show you the latest diagnostic tool helping doctors determine your risk. Now we've talked a lot about breast cancer this month, and while it is an important fight for both men and women, today we want to talk to you about a screening just for men. We're going to take the unknown out of the prostate exams and tell you who needs to get tested and when. This veteran fought for our country during World War II. Now he's fighting a different battle. Find out how he's planning on winning and what his birthday has to do with it. Chemotherapy is often used to help fight cancer, but what happens when the chemo is actually fighting you? We'll talk with the survivor and the CDC about a serious side effect of the commonly used treatment. Every day, someone goes hungry. And no, it's not just in third world countries. It's happening right here on Delmarva. It could be your child's classmate, your next door neighbor, even your friend. We tell you about a program launched just this month helping to feed the hungry. And we all want to help the less fortunate, especially those who are just too little and too young to fight by themselves. So we're in the Delmarva Life Kitchen with the chef from Craniums at the Beach making one of Lisa's favorites, blackened tuna. We're also gonna tell you how eating a great dish like this can actually help Delmarva's unborn babies. And you know who else needs some help? Me. I've been trying to find my way out of this maze for a couple hours now. Actually, it's more like a couple minutes. This is a giant beach maze, and it's one of the attractions at the OC Toberfest we'll be learning about. Delmarva Life starts right now. Good afternoon. I'm Lisa Bryan. I'm Jimmy Hoppel. Welcome to Delmarva Live from Historic Studio D. Cooler today than it was yesterday. Yeah. Warmer than it's going to be soon. Okay. Remember that little polar vortex thing? Oh, I hate those words. Guess what some of no, the long-range forecasters no, are calling for this year. They're mm. saying it might come back. Aye. Uh, according to their map here, it's going to be wintry white and wet in New England and crisp and very stormy for us here on Delmarva. Mm. So. I reject it. <laughs> I refuse to accept your reality as my own. No, no. Well, corn mazes are very popular this fall, and just because Ocean City doesn't have cornfields doesn't mean they're not getting in on the fun. Uh, you know one thing they do have, that is beaches, and that's exactly what they're building, the giant Halloween beach maze. Sean Stryker joins us now from that beach. No. So, Sean, <laughs> how's it going there, buddy? Don't look behind you. Yeah, well, Jimmy and Lisa, it's going great, and you're right. I don't know if it's going great for that guy behind me, but the sun is shining and they're getting set up for OC Toberfest. I'm here with Bob Rothermel, one of the event producers. Bob, thanks for joining me. Now, how long have you been doing this uh, festival? This, this is a third year for it. Uh, we started very small. It's uh, produced by the uh, Mayor and City Council and the Tourism Advisory Board of Ocean City. So you've watched it grow over the past three years. Yeah, our th first year was uh, shortened by Hurricane Sandy, but each year we've seen the num numbers of people uh, walking through the maze uh, double each mm -hmm. year. And there's other attractions as well, I guess for our more, well, everyone that, most people that watch our show love their pets, and um, you have a, uh, ha what is it, the Halloween. Yeah, Halloween mm -hmm. uh, uh, Pet Parade this, okay. this uh, Saturday at 1 o'clock, mm -hmm. and registration is free, and we have the uh, people come in with their pets and decorate them in uh, the most outrageous uh, costumes that you can imagine. And I saw some of the pictures that the pet owners get involved in the oh, costumes it, as well. It becomes a whole themed event. Mm -hmm. And I guess uh, another event you have the following weekend, it's a, it's a twist on a soapbox derby. Yeah, we, we call it the, the Great Pumpkin Race. And uh, we invite families or individuals to come uh, decorate a pumpkin in their favorite, uh, but put some wheels on it. Mm -hmm. You know, Delaware can make uh, pumpkins fly. We think, seem to think that we can make them race. And I was again, I was looking at some of those pumpkins. Some are more for show, I guess, and some are built for speed. Some are yeah, exactly right. Uh -huh. yeah, some are show and no go, and some are just pure go. Uh -huh. And the main attraction has to be this beach maze. Uh, tell me about that. Well, the beach maze came you know, through you know, all of the corn mazes you see around the country. Well, none has ever been done on a beach before. And uh, so we came up with the idea and uh, started plot using a company that develops uh, corn mazes. And uh, we uh, plotted it out on a GPS, and they just go through the beach and give us our points, and then we start setting stakes. I was 
gonna ask, how does it, how do you even start putting together a maze? Well, you need an entrance and an exit, I guess. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what you really need, and you couple, need a couple emergency exits for those families to get a little too scared. Uh -huh. Is it scary or is this for everybody? It's, it's really designed for families and young children, and it's free. Uh, you know, it, it's more of surprises rather than being scared, mm -hmm. but uh, some do get a little scared in it, but you know. It's Halloween. I guess that's right. When is um when is this happening? When are the uh, details? The, 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 the beach maze is uh, this Saturday and Sunday, 10 to 5, and then next Saturday, 10 to 5, uh, both both days. And it's free, open to the public, and we invite everyone to join us. Now, it is weather permitting. Well, yeah. So, I mean, no one wants to be on the beach in a hurricane. And you were actually saying, it's pretty interesting, uh, you set the, the course out, and sometimes the sand comes and <laughs> washes yeah, up. So yeah. you got a lot of work to do it, to it, keep that it, level. Mother Nature can make it very interesting in doing something on the beach like this. Well, things are coming together really nicely. As you can see, some of the decorations are popping up behind us. If you want more information on OC Toberfest, visit our website, WBOC.com. Click on our picture at the top of the page. Jimmy and Lisa, this is this is my buddy. I'm gonna hang out with him, and I'll send it back to you guys. You can keep your buddy, Sean. Yeah, I'm think, just saying. That's. I think Jimmy's scared of that clown. A little too spooky. <laughs> well, for lots me. of orange and black, cause that's the color of Halloween, it is, right? Yes. Well, what about teal? The Food Allergy Research and Education Organization has launched the Teal Pumpkin Project. Now, it encourages people to place a teal painted pumpkin outside their door if they're offering non-food treats, such as small toys, stickers, and crayons. You know, food allergies can be life-threatening, yeah. and they affect one in 13 children in the U.S. If you want some more information, including some ideas for treats and some resources, so right. that you can have the teal pumpkins, go to our website, WBOC.com. Like cash. Cash would be good. Cash. <laughs> okay, maybe. Don't come to my house if you're looking for cash. <laughs> now, I do need to tell you that if you're getting ready for Halloween, yeah. um, well, let me just jump right into this. If maturity is something that you're looking for, don't look towards Delaware men because you ain't going to find it. What? That, according to a study from a blog <laughs> called Estately, look at this map here. It names Delaware men as the second most immature in the nation, second only to those in Ro Rhode Island. Hmm. Uh, Estately's criteria includes the unemployment rate, enthusiasm for things like beer pong, fantasy football, video games, and viewership of adult cinematic offerings. <laughs> so where does Maryland rank? Just to let you know, Maryland ranked 30th, Virginia's oh. 28th. Utah is where you will find the most Mo mature men really? nationwide. That's pretty interesting. And this coming from a man Guy who lives in Delaware. Lives yeah, in not Delaware. That, I don't know what I'm well, yeah, yeah. speaking, <laughs> that's really good. You know, third Friday, so watch it. Third Friday is in Salisbury tomorrow, and it's going to be an extra special one this year, or this month, I guess. Groundbreaking for what's to become. Headquarters Live will take place at the former downtown Salisbury Firehouse. Uh, you recognize that, don't yeah, you? Well, they're going yeah. to turn that into a historic building. It is a historic building, but it's going to be a mixed-use music and community venue. So it's been sitting vacant for quite some time. Yeah. They're going to make it into something that everyone can use. And the groundbreaking is during third Friday tomorrow at 530 in downtown Salisbury. That'll be a neat thing. It will be. be now, we're filling up your calendar for you. Tillman Island Day, that is Saturday. Demonstrations of the Waterman's Way of Life going to take place from 10 to 6, including work boat docking. Just looking at that picture, it's oh, like wow. today. Uh, yeah. Bird Dog and the Road King is going to play throughout the day in Cronesburg Park. Tillman Island Fire Company asking for an admission donation of only a $5 bill per person. Kids under 12 will get in free. And I'm glad you brought up Tillman Island because we want to send our condolences to the family of Captain Buddy Harrison. He is iconic on Tillman mm -hmm. Island. The charter boat captain and restaurant owner died yesterday, 80 years old. I know a lot of people loved going out fishing with him, yeah. just hearing stories. Uh, great guy, but our condolences. Condolences with his yeah, family. Big lost prayers to the family. So here's a question for you. Do you know anybody that would make a great grand marshal? Here's why I'm asking. The American Legion Post number 19 in Laurel, uh, Delaware, is looking for nominations for grand marshal for the upcoming Eastern Shore Veterans Day Parade. Okay. U.S. Air Force Honor Guard is going to lead the parade. Grand marshal will be right after them. Uh, the names of the nominees, along with a short bio for the parade committee to review, can be sent to Donald Guti, care of the Laurel American Legion Post 19. That's Post Office Box 329 in Laurel 19956. Now, they need the name by October 25th, so try to get that in there if you can. Yeah. Good you like stuff. a good back rub, don't you? 
always. You know, there are those who like to give back rubs, mm -hmm. and then there are those who like to get back rubs. Mm -hmm. And on the best of occasions, you can actually get the <laughs> two together. Take a look at this. We know that's one very happy puppy. But do you think maybe the cat is just softening him up for something? I don't know. Oh, see now, that's ooh. Uh, he looks happy. The you cat put looks it that happy. way, it's all kinds of different. <laughs> Cats yeah. and dogs can get along. <laughs> yeah. Well, exciting progress in the fight against cancer still to come. Take a look at this guy. Pretty scary, huh? But he may hold the key to the successful treatment of brain cancer. Find out how. This man, no match for cancer or the Battle of Normandy. He's faced it all and he survived. What he credits with helping him hit the century mark. Well, it's hard to believe, but millions of children around the world and some right here on Delmarva go hungry. Find out how volunteers are coming together to put food on their table. And children are the reason the March of Dimes works so hard. We're going to tell you about an upcoming event that goes a long way toward making sure every baby is a healthy one. Delmarva Life, we'll be right back. Delmarva Life is brought to you by Sussex County Federal Credit Union, guiding you to your financial future. Peninsula Regional Medical Center, honored to serve the entire Delmarva Peninsula since 1897. Your local York and LG dealers and State Farm Insurance. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there.